This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. RBDF officials reporting the grounding of HMBS Cascarilla while patrolling the southeastern Bahamas off Ragged Island on Friday night. Officials confirmed that injuries received by crew members of HMBS Cascarilla this weekend are non-life-threatening. Five Marines were airlifted for medical attention on Saturday and four of the five have since been discharged. One Marine has been admitted and the RBDF via press statement says that Marine is expected to make a full recovery. He is in stable condition. The vessel is said to have no material damage and remains in operational readiness. Initial investigations are ongoing and a formal board of inquiry will be convened to determine the circumstances involved. Well, Democratic National Alliance leader Rinthia Komolafe says a government under her party will move towards transitioning to a republic system of governance. She says this much after Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley announced that the country intends to do the same, aiming to complete the process in time for the 55th anniversary of independence in November of next year. Mrs. Komolafe adds that our party is committed to a system of real city or island government that has more teeth and empowers leaders to govern the affairs of their islands or regions based on revenue earned and subsidies for the central government. Mrs. Kumalafi says a DNA administration will bring about real change and will usher in the Republic of the Bahamas. The Water and Sewage Corporation reported a complete loss of electrical power supply yesterday at its Blue Hills water pumping station, which supplies 80% of its New Providence customers. In a release issued, WSC says this stopped the filling of the corporation's Blue Hills Hydro Tower for some three hours, causing periods of low pressure or no water for parts of northern, central, southern, and eastern New Providence. However, normal water supply has now been restored to all impacted customers. And Governor General Cornelius A. Smith signed the Book of Condolence and also conveyed his condolences to the family of the late Pastor Hugh Roach at the William Thompson Auditorium on Jean Street today. Pastor Roach was the former president of the Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, including the Turks and Caicos Mission. During his tenure as president of the SDA Church in the Bahamas, Pastor Roach is accredited with establishing the Grand Bahama Academy in Freeport and the Bahamas Academy in Nassau, which became an accredited institution. He served with distinction as the principal of Bahamas Academy in the 1960s and 70s and committed much of his professional life to the advancement of Christian education for Bahamians. He also served as the chaplain of the House of Assembly from 2012 to 2017. Pastor Roach died on September 3rd at the age of 84. He leaves behind his wife, Olga, his daughter, Opal, and son, Hubert. Condolences to his family from all of us here at Jones Communications Network. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.